For this next example, it's very similar to the last one that we did. We're going to be finding x. Before I do that, I do want to label my sides. So let's do that super quickly. This is opposite, my given angle. This is adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. Okay, so taking a look at our information, we have an angle, we have this side and this side, the trig function that we use when we have opposite and adjacent. Let's remind ourselves of the acronym really quickly. All right, so the only trig function that uses both opposite and adjacent is our tangent function. So we need to use tangent. So let's set this up super quickly. Tangent of 40 degrees is going to equal 6 over x. Okay, so like I said, this is very similar to the last problem we did, but it is a little different. Okay, this time it's the denominator that has the x value. We need to get that x all by itself. Now there's a couple of different ways how you can do it. I'm going to show you the long way because I think the long way just makes a little bit more sense and it makes it a little bit clearer as to how you find the value of x. So first things first, I want to move it. Remember, multiplication is the opposite of division. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. That means on this side, they'll cancel out. So this is what I currently have. x times tangent of 40 degrees equals 6. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for x. So think about this. How am I going to get x all by itself? Well, since these two values are being multiplied, let's divide out that tangent of 40 degrees. So now x is all by itself. And on the other side, I have 6 divided by the tangent of 40 degrees. Now, like I said, in the past couple of videos, we are going to want to use a calculator because it is going to be really tricky to try and calculate that without a calculator. So, on your handy dandy calculators, we'll do 6 divided by the tangent of 40 degrees. And you should end up with something like 7.150521, etc. Okay, third decimal place is right there. We're looking at this value right there. I'll even make it a little bit clearer this time by boxing it. Okay, that's a 5. Remember what I said, five or greater, we round up. So we round this up to approximately 7.151. There are no units attached, so I'm good to go.